uh, riding my bike to the store one day and I saw mandolin parts hanging in a window. And uh, I went, yikes. I went and knocked on the door, nobody in. So I went four days in a row and knocked on the door till somebody answered. And it was Daryl Anger, uh, who was the original violinist for the David Christman Quintet. They were building F5 copies, um, F5 mandolin copies, including the Gibson on the back. <laughs> So I, I approached that the same way I approached my apprenticeship with Bruce as like, God, this is cool. When can I start with you guys? And uh, um, I did that in conjunction with building my own guitars. So I, got, I was getting a pretty good foundation in, in carved tops and instruments like that. I started this in a, a town of 18,000 people, you know. I mean, we watched TV. It wasn't that bad. But <laughs> videos hadn't been invented. There was, you know, uh, I bought supplies from Germany, you know, there's about a six month turnaround on stuff. There was the individual builder and then the people trying to be the next Martin. There wasn't the concept of taking um, the attention, the talent, uh, well talent, I'm going to say more knowledge of uh, a luthier and applying it to the steel string guitar. That was the birth of the boutique guitar luthery concept, you know, taking the, the old world uh, idea of the, the symphony instrument like a classical guitar or a violin and applying that to those kind of methodologies to the steel string guitar, which like I said was, you know, not taken seriously um, 35 years ago. There didn't exist the master to apprentice tradition like the guild system of Europe. Um, it was the realm of the factory pretty much since the beginning. And uh, even the venerable, you know, names and pre-war instruments notwithstanding, still a factory instrument, you know, and it was made um, by assembling components, you know, you made a kit of guitar parts and you put them together. And this is why w w the variation and sound of the guitar, you know, out of 10 you want to get the good one, right? Well, you know, I'm a firm believer in simultaneous discovery. You know, like, uh, there'll be arguments about who invented the automobile for instance, or flight, or whatever. And when the time's right, astounding things like that tend to happen, maybe on you know, different continents. Um, I know, now I know who was building at the time, but as, as individuals. Now there was um, uh, Larave, Gurian, and NBN, a company in Colorado, and uh, Stuart Mossman, Mossman Guitars. And what they had in common, and this isn't this isn't to diminish their efforts at all, but they wanted to be the next Martin. You know, that's really where, where they were headed. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the market hadn't been so crummy, they might have done that. You know, they might be Taylor. Now, Taylor and, and uh, Bob and his partner, partner Kurt, were um, building an American Dream in San Diego. So they were starting too, but I wouldn't meet them for years.